God damn it. Oh, there we go. We are live. Jesus. Look at that hair. What a mess. What the fuck is this? Full effect. Gustavo. Gustavo. I'm not gonna learn anything from this. Gustavo. If you guys want to go to the YouTube stream, you can watch on your computer. Fancy. Super fancy. I know. Everyone should try the YouTube one because it will be better quality, I think, maybe. Laura, can you try the YouTube one? See if it works. Do, 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 do. Live stream. It's just like right here, right here, right here, right now. Yep. Right here, right now. I'll get it. I'll get it. Let's get people to come in. Make this sweetie. Thirty one. I 
think what I learned. Oh, Skyler's here. Hi. Hello. Karen's here. We're about to start. Okay. Let's just warm up and then we'll say stuff. Let's do it. Bobby, hit him with that heavy beat. Okay. Oh, God. We're not going to do much on our feet today, you guys.
So we're going, instead of into our foot like a CC, we're going um, the opposite direction. So over this way, which is like a reverse Zulu. Um, the cool thing about this, at least that I like, is we still do it with the same hand. So I can use my right foot and my left hand. And then I create like a lot of space here, right? So I can be here or I can take it like all the way down to the floor. Yeah, I've never been my back rock. Cool. So same thing other side. We can Zulu here. Boom. Right. We can Zulu here. Boom. And we can take it all the way down to back rock out. So let's just go reverse Zulu to same side back rock. So starting with our right leg out, left hand down. We go reverse Zulu. We come to our right shoulder. Our left leg then goes out to go left side back rock CC. Yeah? And then we'll just come up, boom. Other side, reverse Zulu, left shoulder to right foot back rock CC. Cool. Let's put it together. So after this back rock CC, we'll switch again to regular Zulu our way up to the top so that we're back here. Cool, and we'll go switch, switch, same thing. Boom, back rock, and then change regular to go switch, switch. Boom, ka, ka. boom, regular, ta, ta. Cool, let's do other side. So if we were to like change the other side, we could just go up top here to switch down on the other side. So we go over the top, we back rock CC on our left, we switch again, we Zulu regular to go switch, switch, same thing again. Down, back rock, boom, back up, switch, switch. Cool. Um, that's just a little fun footwork transition that we can use. Um, I mostly just use that reverse CC or reverse Zulu to get down to the floor um, just because you create this like big hole and you can do all sorts of fun stuff there. So yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. Um, before we move on with warming up, if you guys wanna go on the YouTube, we're streaming it with the GoPro as well. And hopefully that will be a better experience for everyone. Um, if it works because you can watch it on your computer you don't have to have like your mini phone and it's in landscape mode so if you want to try the youtube stream try it out why not i think next week we're just going to do youtube um, but we just wanted to do one more on instagram just so that we made sure we didn't lose anyone but next week be on the lookout for that youtube link um, because it's just a lot better to, to do it on YouTube for a lot of reasons. Um, cool. Let's do one last little warm up workout y thing. Um, so, we're going to do a little bit of upper body stuff, um, starting with our chair push ups. So, we're going to do some variations on our push ups. So, we're going to start in bear position. Yeah. We're going to come through with our left. And then we're gonna chair push up on our left side. So a chair push up is just coming down, kind of stabbing in, and then pushing back up, and then other side. From the back, it looks like this. Down, my elbow comes behind me, and then I push up, yeah? So this is like a chair position back here. My elbow is not actually stabbing now. It's still outside, boom, boom. Really, these should be called air chair push ups because we don't actually stab. Um, so, let's just do five each side. One, and one, and two, and two, and three, and three, and four, and four, and five, and five. Whew. Okay. Uh, another one that's fun that we've done before is Superman push-ups. Um, so, these are just going to be... Kind of like laying in a plank, but then extending out, 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 as far as you can. 
and then dropping to the floor and then pulling yourself forward, especially if you're on carpet, and then back, 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 back. Boom, pulling and up. So just do like five of those on your own. As you pull up, try to get, pull yourself as far forward as you can before you push up. So you get this like little planche workout from here and then slide way down. And in this last like second, that's the fight right there. Ugh. And then drop and then pull it up. Yeah. Cool. So after five of those, last thing. Uh, we're gonna do these, uh, I don't even know what this is called. It's like a it's like a bridge tap. So from our bear position, we're gonna step through to like a big crab, and then we're gonna look at our hand. It's gonna come all the way back, tap the floor, come back up, change sides. Through, all the way, tap the floor, come back up, change sides. And do like, I don't know, three of those on each side. Those are pretty hard. Make sure you're really looking for that length in your shoulders. Um, and follow your hand with your eyes. If you need to, put a lot of weight in your feet for these. It shouldn't be like all your weight in your hands. It should be a lot of weight in your feet. So we go through, we look at our hand. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let's do some legs. So, um, with our power, it's really important that we have our hip flexor strength outside. Yeah, especially for like our flares and stuff. So, let's start. Right foot, we're just going to do five leg lifts with the right. So, find like a comfortable split position. We're not like pushing through it, we're just like getting to our split. And we're just going to go one, two, Three, four, five, and then left. One, two, three, four, five, and then both. Oh my gosh, my hips are so. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Ooh. Nice. That's pretty rough. Cool. Um, and then let's do. Oh yeah, let's do some L sits. So um, from here, we're just gonna put our hands down. Boom. And then we're gonna pull our butt back and through and just go change, 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 change. And then try to make that slow motion, slow motion, slow motion, hold. Whew. See if you can hold that for 10 seconds. If that's easy, you're strong. Um, do the middle, boom. Ah, cool. <laughs> now that we're all pretty sweaty, um, let's check. Cool. If you are, oh, there's only three people left. I think, Bobby, will you go on the YouTube? There's someone in Russian that looks like that chatted. <laughs> cool. How many viewers are there? Seven. Cool. Um, Angelo. And so Becca, Becca, Angelo and Becca, can you guys go on YouTube? Because then we can just use that. That'd be great. Um, I think everyone else is there. Cool. Let's chat for a second. Um, If you are here, whether you're on YouTube or Instagram, will you send us a emoji, like a thumbs up, smiley face, little fire, whatever you want, just so that we know who's in class, so that we can not feel so weird and alone in this room. Um, also, while you're at it, if there's any specific stuff that you want to learn or work on today, um, just let us know so that we can add that to our 
to-do list um, because we have a plan, but we also have room for flexibility if there's like other stuff that you guys want to work on. We can do whatever you want. This is for you. Paper emoji. <laughs> Paper emoji. <laughs> um, cool. So welcome to Breaking Class Volume 3. Um, it sounds like we're going to be back in this same place a lot um, because the stay at home just got extended through the 26th. So we'll be doing this again next week. Um, generally, I think it's better for most people if we do it on Thursdays. Um, but if you feel a type of way about that, or if there's a better day for you, just let us know and we'll try to accommodate. But usually the breaking class is on Thursdays. Um, so next week we'll probably do Thursday at this time. And we're probably only gonna do YouTube stream from now on instead of Instagram, um, just cause it's better. Um, but also let us know, give us some feedback there. If you like Instagram stream for some reason, um, we can consider doing that. Um, but but uh, but uh, today we're gonna do we're gonna go over just like some basic stuff. We're gonna do some like I guess not across the floors, but just like on the floors because <laughs> everyone <laughs> has everyone has their own space. So we're gonna do some like on the floor warm upy type stuff, um, and then whatever Bobby has planned for us, <laughs> um, it's gonna be easier than last week, right, Bobby? Sure. <laughs> and then um, we're going to work on just some basic freeze transitional stuff. That's what I wanted to do today. And um, yeah, just like some more things that we can work on in our own little corners. Um, did anybody say anything? There's one emoji on YouTube. That's all? There's seven people watching. You guys are not killing the... The emoji game. Linnea just joined. <laughs> Linnea, you should go on the YouTube one and see how that works because we're trying to test it so that we can use YouTube next week. Wait. And most people are on YouTube, I think. There are, it's Bobby, Angela. Okay, are there any Angela. emojis though? That's all I really care about. Uh, I see hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I Josh. asked for emojis. You gave me nothing. Yeah, Josh. Is there struggling with the YouTube chat from some guy named Guy for Girl from Rare Book? So I'm there. <laughs> That's Taryn. Oh, Taryn. Okay. Okay. Anyways, no communication. That's okay. Seven, peep, six. I don't Who know. needs communication when you have an empty room? Um, cool. Let's just start with our. to create your own channel on YouTube to comment in the chat. Oh, I see. Uh, Taryn would That's like okay. to learn about handstands and strength and like. Cool. Perfect. Um, don't worry if you can't chat on the YouTube. Um, it's totally fine. It seems like that's kind of annoying that you have to create your own YouTube channel to be able to chat. We'll figure it out next week. Um, but let's just start with our on the floor stuff. So. Um, We'll start with Taryn's request because that's where we usually start across the floors. Um, so we're just gonna work our handstands. Um, if you already have your handstands, I'll give you some stuff to work on, just start working on them. If you don't, let's start from the beginning, yeah? So our handstand setup is gonna be a step in and a swing up, yeah? So we step with one foot, we swing the other foot up. The foot that swings is gonna end up in front of us, yeah? So we're gonna step, swing up. We're gonna go to our S position. Yeah, our legs are in this like bent knee, bent knee, relaxed, loose leg position. And we're gonna like loosely look at the floor between or maybe like behind our hands. Yeah, but we're not looking through. That's a lot harder. Just looking down at the floor. Cool. So we step, we swing, we're up. We use our fingertips, our elbows, our shoulders to balance. Try not to walk. Just go up and then come down. <sighs> Um, if you have that, yeah, here's the leg variation we're going to do today. So if you have that, boom, I want you to go diamond and the knees together and then feed out to come up and drop back to your diamond. So boom, 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 boom. Yeah. 
Cool, so that's our handstand in place. Um, then let's work on our walks. So we're not gonna walk in any particular direction today. We're just gonna do our weight shift and stay in place, yeah? It's kind of nice that everyone has their own space because then we don't have to move anywhere. So we're just gonna go up and we're gonna just relax our legs and shift our weight side to side. So just like think about doing this, but on your hands, yeah? See how I'm using my upper body to help this weight shift? Oh. Boom, boom. Same thing on my hands. So I'm going up and shift, 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 shift. Easy money. You should be able to do that like forever. Um, if you have that, work on your pirouettes, yeah? So spider, come up, and then walking in a circle. So we go. Spider up, pirouette, 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 pirouette. Use your legs, or if you have your straddle pirouettes, yeah, get your legs out and do a nice straddle pirouette. Um, cool. So those are handstands. Moving on, let's do our. Oh wait. Uh, basics of handstand spins. What's that? Pirouettes. pirouettes. Yeah. So. Um, Basics of pirouettes. Whew, pirouettes are rough. Um, your spider, go. yeah, so you're gonna go spider, and then you're gonna go spider up to handstand. So spider, handstand, and then your opposite arm, yeah, so if you're going counterclockwise, your power arm's your left, clockwise, your power arm's your right. Your opposite arm, so if I'm going counterclockwise, that's my right, if I'm going clockwise, that's my left. It's gonna take the first step. Yeah, so I go counterclockwise, my right hand's gonna take the first step. I'm going up, up, step, step. Yeah, first step is opposite arm, right hand if you're going counterclockwise. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> if you really need to learn your pirouettes and you're starting like at the very beginning, you should probably watch some sort of tutorial because they're pretty rough. Um, but just because you asked, we're going spider up to our hands and then opposite arm steps first and then my power hand is gonna step. It's gonna go forward, backwards. So watch it one more time. I go up, up, step, step, and those steps, first step goes forward, second step goes backwards, and that's how I rotate around. Hopefully that was helpful. That was the fastest crash course in pirouettes ever created by a breaker. Um, okay, next one, cartwheels. We're just gonna work on our windshield wipers um, and play with some variations here. So we're just gonna go over to the side, boom, drop our foot, come back, and come back over, boom, and then other side. We go up, we go foot, foot, up and over. Everybody try that a couple times. Do, do, up and over. Do, do. Do that one more time. I don't yeah. know why I got confused. So we go. Foot. Oh, yeah. Okay. The second leg doesn't come down. Oh. Right. If you have that and it's easy, watch. If you're still working on it, keep going. Um, we can also do our opposite foot. Yeah? This gets a little more tricky. So I'm going to come up and over. Opposite foot. Up and over. Opposite foot. Yeah, if you can, try to keep your hands down. My foot is like basically broken right now, so I can't do that on both sides. But if you can, try to keep both hands down. Boom, you have to tap that foot and then swing it up and over. Boom, to tap it, other side. Yeah, ideally both hands are down, but I'm not doing that today. Yeah, that's really hard, but that's gonna be like our lead up to our helicoptero, yeah? Because our helicoptero is the same thing, but opposite foot touches down. Yeah? If you're not there, don't worry. That's way more crazy stuff. Um, just because we have space, let's also do our elbows. Yeah? So, starting low, we're gonna go elbow, elbow, over, back, back up. Boom. And then, other way, boom, boom. Yeah. 
elbow wheels. We're doing it. Everybody's doing it. If you have those, try to do your head wheels. Jesus. That's a fun one too. Um, you can do your head wheels with no hands or you can do your head wheels with your hands. If it's your first time, use your hands. So we're going head, head, head. Oh, okay. Head, head, head. You can use as much hands or as little as you want. Um, if you have carpet, try with no hands. That's a pretty good little head stability exercise. Dope. Um, da, 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 da. Let's do our makakus. Oh. Everyone's favorite thing, makakus. Um, so remember, we want to set our makaku up from the front, and then we're shifting our weight back to reach and push up and over, yeah? Most of our power, as always in breaking, comes from our legs, because they're big and strong, yeah? Our eyes, our goal, is to come straight up and over, yeah? Especially if you have carpet, really like challenge yourself today, try to get it all the way up. My hand, this is like a pro tip, my fingers are gonna face into me, yeah? So fingers face back towards the garage door, yeah? So from here, fingers face in, I throw it up and over, yeah? Boom, we go. Yeah, and our legs land one, two. Give it a whirl, try both sides. Um, if you have it, try to catch your handstand in the middle, hold it for a second, and then come down. Cool. Again, here we go. Oh my god. Woohoo! Everybody's a pro at Makaku's! Uh, might as well, if you're advanced, you want to challenge, try your elbow Makaku. Yeah? So, elbow makaku, we're just gonna take our elbow back and down, and then we're gonna jump over. The reason this is tricky is because our arm kinda has to shift with us, right? Because we can't set our elbow like this to start, it doesn't work, yeah? So we kinda have to like rotate our arm with us. So from here, jumping up and over, and kind of like rotating this arm. Oh, oh god, I can't land on that foot. Again, we go up and over. Ah, and if you're really crazy, you can spin that. Yeah, have you ever elbow spin that? Pop the air chair. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, cool, let's do two more. Um, first one, let's do our swipe throughs. Oh God, this is a hard one. Um, so swipe through, you're gonna start just like a spider. If you don't have your spider yet, just practice your spider, yeah. But swipe through, our legs are gonna come through, our hips are gonna face the ceiling. Yeah, so watch closely. This is not easy. So I'm gonna go spider, legs come through, my hips are going up towards the ceiling. Yeah, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna rotate up and over. Boom, right? You wanna rotate under and through, right? So imagine if you have like a flashlight that's facing um, from your hips, yeah? As I come here, that flashlight, it doesn't open towards the back ever, right? It opens towards the front. Boom. You have to point straight up. So I don't go up and over, I go under and through. I go boom, boom, under and through, and then I change arms, and I pull, and then whatever you want from there. You can roll it up, you can do whatever. So, we go swipe through, jump, and whatever. Break your foot and cry. I don't know. Boom, boom. Yeah. Cool. That's a little bit harder. Um, one more time. Let's do it from the side. So, we're here. We go. Swipe and through, up and over, through, to our feet. Woohoo! Dope. Okay. Uh, last one. Let's just do our rollbacks. Um, so, just how we finished, we're gonna roll back using our hands or our shoulder or our head and popping either to our feet or ideally all the way up to our handstand. So, 
Starting here, rolling back up and over to come to our feet. Or if you have that, don't use your knees. Just go boom, boom, straight to feet. If you have that, don't use your shoulder. Just use your hands, boom, straight to feet, yeah? You don't have to use your head on this. You can just push through your hands and get all the way up, yeah? Head is optional. Eventually, especially if you do it with one arm, you are gonna use your head. So it's kind of good to get in the habit of like setting your head down and then pushing, yeah? But you don't wanna whack your head on the floor. So think about like your head sets down and then it pushes you up. So I'm rolling with my head down and then my head pushes me up. Push with the head, push with the head, push with the head. That's gonna be the next cross the floor. All the way across, all the way across. Just on your head. I'm gonna break your neck. <laughs> um, so then we just combine that with our hands, right? So we go, we roll back and push with the head and our hands, push up, boom. Yeah, or push up all the way to our feet. Easy stuff. Kind of, sort of. Okay. Bobby is taking over. 10 minutes. Bobby break. Sarah Kane, ready to go. Ah. <laughs> Sarah Kane is part of his b-boy name. Alright, there's two cameras. This is going to be confusing. <laughs> it's not confusing, just teach you that. Okay! Alright, so let's try this one. Um, we're going to do this. So we're in our zero position, or our bear position. Cannonball? What are we doing? Cannonball? Oh, cannonball, yeah. <laughs> I call it zero. <laughs> so we're going to hook. Rap. Unhook. Rap. <laughs> Sweep in our six step. Hook. And remember to stay on your toes, but we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Um, so we're gonna put both hands down, and we're gonna sort of face your right side. And we're gonna rock our leg. Rock. Yeah. So slowly, I'm gonna hook, or I guess according to Alex, wrap. So I'm on my toes, and come back down. Then we go back to the other side, unhook, hook, and try and rock backward, stay on your toes, and then come back down gently. Good. Let's try again. So, left to your right, or this side, sorry. Then we sweep. Sweep to the other side, wrap, stay on your toes, put both hands down, and turn to the back, to the front. So it's like a connected sweep CC? Yeah. Wrap CC. So hook, rocking, rock, yeah. Good. You do it fast both sides? Yeah. So. Rocking, rocking, rocking. Cool. Nope. Questions? No. It's good. All right. So then, one more thing. We're going to try this. So we unhook, sweep, wrap, and we're going to rock back to the other side. And then once we go back over, we're gonna, instead of go backward, we're gonna wrap and then step forward and spin up. So instead of going backward, now we go forward and then we turn up. Yes, good. Can you just show it with the corkscrew before you add the step? So instead of going step and then corkscrew, can you just go corkscrew? So right after we did the rocking on both sides, just the corkscrew. Oh, if you're just doing the corkscrew, you're going to unhook and unwrap, face back. So you're sort of standing up and 
back down. And then add the step. Oh, okay. Then you step forward with the foot that's wrapped. No, I'm, I'm saying like now add the step. Oh, the other one. Don't like <laughs> add that and then add another step. So step forward, turn, and back down. Yeah. So if you can't do the step forward, you can just do the core screw. The step forward's pretty hard, but if you can do both, do both. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes I switch it up some instead of just like going all the way up in one direction and all the way back down. Sometimes I use ideas where I like grab my body. So I like turn up, grab, pull back down the other direction. So it's unpredictable. Ugh. You know, like 360 stuff? Can you do that step? <laughs> yes. So starting from the top, we sweep. Actually, sorry. We're here, that side. Unhook, sweep, wrap. Both hands down if you want, rocking back to the other side, rock. And then if you want, you can step forward or you can turn up 360 around. Yeah. I went back the other way. Can you do the step forward, but like spin in a full circle as you step forward? With the step Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. So from here, from the top. Do it. Unhook. Hook. And then this left foot, you step forward, turning down. And if you're here last week, you can pop up, roll around. Jesus, that was a week ago. <laughs> yeah. So that's where that caffeine goes. Oh, yeah. Caffeine. And if you want, you can sort of like pull through. And go all the way up to your hands. So, yeah, do it, Bobby. I didn't know you had a flanch handstand. Yeah. That's not even. That's not even relevant to the footwork. Oh, okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so, thank you, Bobby. Yay. Okay. Um, one note, just connecting to these forward fundamentals that we did last week. Um, when when Bobby was talking about like this, right? This is just like another concept or spice that we can add into like our basics right so this is a really nice move just to like have in your vocabulary because it's basically like the concept would be like you're connecting and then you're pulling right and we talked about last week like our transitions between our crab and our bear position yeah so this itself could be a transition right and you could take that both ways right you could take it like to your bear or your crab right and then that's like infinite so you can do you can do all the stuff that he just taught, or you can like flip it yourself, right? Just how we talked about like doing, like doubling things up last time, right? So we could go here, 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 right? You can just like keep flipping that. And it's nice to have those like really simple moves because then you can start making them your own and using them within your rounds rather than like having like a set step, knowing like, okay, whatever I'm doing, boom, 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 I can always, use that cool so thanks bobby and if you like watch when he's doing footwork you'll see like how he uses that inside of his footwork and he has like an infinite number of possibilities like he doesn't just have like a list of moves he just like does all this crazy shit um and puts it together in different ways every time depending on the music um or the vibe cool okay um so Let's move on. We've got one more thing to do. Um, so last week we were talking about our shoulder freezes, yeah? And these like rock back and forth, boom, these taps and these threads, all this crazy stuff, yeah? Um, but let's talk about some shoulder transitions um, because they can be really, really helpful in our breaking. Um, so we kind of talked about this before in the, in the warm up with this reverse Zulu. Yeah, so we can come down to our shoulder here, right? That's a really good way to get down. And then we came up in a regular Zulu spin, again, off of our shoulder to come up here, right? So this is like kind of starting to use our shoulders to integrate our footwork and our freezes, but let's integrate even more freezes into this, yeah? 
So we're gonna come, um, if you guys have something soft, you should grab it now. You're gonna need it. If you're on carpet or if you have a head spin beanie or a little puzzle mat, whatever. If you have a very flat pet, you can use some sort of rug, cushion, pillow, small child. Um, just anything that's softer than the floor of the job. Um, so we're gonna just start from our shoulder freeze and we're gonna work on popping up um, to our higher levels, yeah? So this is really gonna de depend on what level you're at already, where you go from here. But like the most basic one, is we're gonna go shoulder freeze with our tripod, so with both feet on the floor, yeah? And using our hands, we're just gonna pop up to our head. Boom, boom, boom. Other side, boom, boom. Other side, boom, boom. Cool? Everyone try that. You should, it should feel pretty straightforward. Um, if you can't do that, you need to work. Uh, <laughs> if you can't do that, use your knees, yeah? Knees, head, but that's like so easy, right? You guys should, you guys should at least be here. <laughs> boom, 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 okay. boom. Cool? Not hate, <laughs> just state. Um, you need to work. <laughs> So now let's transition and do that with one leg, yeah? So let's have our same leg as our shoulder down, boom, other foot's up, and then we're gonna pop this foot up to pull us to our head. So we go pop, pull, 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 pull. And change, other side. Pull, 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 yeah? You might not feel like you need that leg to pull you up, but just, humor me and do it for now um, because eventually when we get both of our feet up there it becomes super important to have that leg those legs because that's our timing cool next one we're just going to go up to our shoulder cross baby yeah so we're going to set our hand down here boom we're going to pop up here or sorry not our, shoulder, our elbow cross. we're going to pop here now from here we're going to push up and go to our right elbow so we're going to go push up Elbow and down, up, down, up, down. You can still use your head on the floor. If that's easy for you, take your head off, yeah? And do both sides. Boom, up, down, up, down. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. This is weird. So the trick here and like what we're learning in this is it's not necessarily about this pivot, right? So yes, for this move, the pivot's important and that pivot happens on your front arm, right? Which is here, right? So if I don't use my head, I really have to pivot over this arm so that I can get up, right? But that's not what I'm worried about. That's not what we're teaching today. We're talking about our shoulder transitions. So the important part comes before that I wish I could show you guys in slow motion, but we're collapsing into that shoulder and then we're pushing off of it, right? It's this little like in, out, in, out. And you'll kind of see it happen if you're looking for it. Right, we're here, we go, we crunch into it and then we blast that shoulder up, down. Yeah, so it's that little pop. It's like, boom. Yeah, actually everyone just try that. Just using your legs and your shoulder, just do a little hop. Hop. Entrance for a <laughs> Just like doop, doop, doop. <laughs> someone does a shoulder move. <laughs> um, cool. So try that on both sides, hopping. And now let's do the real deal transition. So now we're going to go shoulder to head with no support. Yeah? So both feet are up. Now, this is where our feet and our timing become really important. Um, this is like definitely a harder move, so you're probably not gonna get it today, but don't worry. You got nothing but time. Practice at your house. Got till the 26th. <laughs> um, what else are you going to do? What else are you gonna do? So from here, boom, we're gonna pop our legs up, push with this shoulder, yeah, and then go to our head. So our head comes underneath. We go, boom. Yeah. Notice how I end with this elbow, yeah? Because that elbow helps me the whole time, yeah? The whole move, I'm pushing here, yeah? 
It's the same as this. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah? You guys wonder. I'm not wasting your time here, right? It's, I'm coming down and I'm pushing up to here and then using my head. Right? So from here, pushing up, boom. Yeah? Then change elbows and down on the other side. And then up, boom, change, down. Up, change, down. If you can do that, go home. You're done. You're great. You're killing the game. <laughs> um, that's not easy, yeah? But it's going to be really good for you. Because um, when we start talking about our power transitions, especially coming from our windmills and going to our windmills, yeah, this is going to be really important. Because this is how we're going to get up to our head, to our elbow, to our hand, yeah? All these transitions are going to come from this shoulder, yeah? So talking about like dynamic shoulder control. Um, but again, this is like a little bit higher level and you're probably not gonna get it today, but that's okay. Um, if you do have it, the next one would be, instead of going to your head, go to something higher, yeah? So go all the way to your elbow freeze, go all the way to your handstand. So, boom, boom, yeah? Or handstand, I don't even know if I can do it. Boom, boom, yeah? But this is just like, Timing, it's just powering off the shoulder, kicking these legs and catching myself up there on top um, in that handstand position. Cool, um, let's... There's one more thing I wanted to talk about with this. Oh, so another thing that is important to know is like, now that we're getting a little bit more technical with our stacks, a lot of people ask like, okay, how do I do like, this handstand to this elbow or like this elbow to this head or this head to this shoulder right in general like i'm a big proponent in learning how to do things up before you learn how to do them down right so if you want to learn like your handstand to elbow learn your elbow to handstand right because anyone can drop hand plant to head not everyone can survive it, right? <laughs> um, so it's really important to like understand like where your strengths are and what you need to develop. And if you want to do hand plant to head, you should work on your head to hand plant first, right? To know that you have that strength. If you can do head pop up to your one hand, you're probably not going to die if you drop it down, but it doesn't go in reverse, yeah? So same thing just like with these. If you want to work on like your head to shoulder, yeah, it's really good to work on your shoulder to head first, especially because like that's going to develop your control and it, it just looks sloppy when someone like doesn't have the strength and control and then they just like try to drop to a freeze, right? We've all seen it with like the little kid who does the headstand to chair and then they like hit their foot, they like fall over and you're like, dang, that was super beginner mode. Um, but it's probably because they don't have the strength to go the other direction and they don't have those stability muscles built up because like anyone can drop not everyone can fly up yeah anyone can drop like a stone not everyone can fly like a bird yeah um <laughs> cool so let's go just to <laughs> that's that's my mike tyson boy um, <laughs> so let's just go over um from what we did last week yeah which is our side to side shoulder controls um we're just going to transition that up to our head, yeah? And you can use both hands for these, right? Because I know last week we were saying like, only use one and don't use your head, but now use your head and use both, yeah, at least to start. So we're starting on our butt, we're rolling over, boom, popping to our head, coming down to the other side, yeah? We go over, up to our head, down, out, cool? If you have that, right, like we did last week, we start from our feet. So we went over, boom, down, back to our feet. Cool, everyone try it. Go crazy, if you have it, if you're super strong, beast mode, one arm only, yeah? Don't let that other arm touch, so that would look like this. Boom. Jesus. Don't touch your foot though, Alex. Boom, boom, boom. Nice, if you're doing the one arm, you might have to like use that hand. Hand, shoulder, head, what's the order? Um, Elbow, shoulder, hand, head. Pop, 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 boom. Nice. 
that's your transition. Cool. Um, if and when you have that, yeah, I want you guys to now add in another freeze, yeah? So this is like your time to, to mix in your style. So for example, you could go like here, you could go boom, 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 right? Boom, 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 yeah? But go from either sitting or cannonball, shoulder, head, change to another freeze. Ready to go. This is also your homework to post on Instagram in your story, 10 second, shoulder, head to another freeze transition, yeah? Even if you have to use your feet, that's okay, yeah? Like, that's how I'm learning to do my one-handed, right? Like, when I get up there and I start to fall, I use my feet, boom, oh shoot, I'm falling, okay, use my foot to crutch, and then boom, come up to my freeze, yeah? Because ideally I'd be able to do that without my foot, just like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's rough, yeah. Nice whoop. Yay! Well, that's idea. Okay, last thing for today. Um, we're just gonna combine this stuff. So we're gonna do Bobby's footwork step. Boom, 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 boom. To our cannonball, and then take it over to our shoulder, yeah? If you have to start from your butt, yeah? Just do a little switch and then come down here. Then take it over, yeah, to here. Pop it up, change freeze. Yeah, so it's gonna be ka 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 and ka 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 and change it up to switch your freeze. Woo! You have a top wheel too. Maybe. Give it a whirl. Yeah, yeah top of the you should have sat. <laughs> so Bobby step, Bobby step, over to your shoulder, pop to your head, change to another freeze. You can stack it again. That's great. Nice. Yeah, okay. Whoopsie, we're almost out of time. Um, cool, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you, Bobby, yay! Thank you, Lou, yay! Lou's oh, the number one right. student. Um, yeah, next week we're probably gonna be on YouTube, but let's communicate and make sure you set up like a YouTube account so that you can comment on YouTube too next week, because that's nice to have. Um, and yeah, hopefully it was good for everyone to have like the, the full view. And it's nice for us because we don't have to like move the camera around. And you can use your computer. So that's great. Uh, if you like the class, if it was helpful, please donate $1, $2, $5, whatever you can. Um, because it looks like we're in this for the long haul. And we got to keep the block alive. We got to keep rice in the fridge. Um, Thank you guys so much. Bye. Bye. We love you. Thanks, Angelo. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Hold that. Your step is like a, reminds me of like a higher Miami portal. Oh. <laughs>